Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level biology for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of cells, and in particular, on the structure of eukaryotic cells. I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level biology with our helpful video tutorials tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button. And whilst you're watching, feel free to leave any comments down below of anything you're unsure about, and let us know if it's your first time watching so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the specification. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson one of nine in this tutorial, the structure of eukaryotic cells. This is our first video in our series of nine lessons on the topic of cell structure. In the last lesson, we looked at the concentrations of inorganic ions in the body. Here are the key learning objectives for today's lesson. The first is to cover cell theory and then we will look at the structure of eukaryotic cells. Here are the AQA specification points for this tutorial. Feel free to pause the video now and read through them before we begin. We'll start off by looking at cell theory. All organisms are made up of cells. All cells are made up of the same fundamental structures. This means that all life is fundamentally the same in terms of structure and requirements of function. For more complex organisms, such as humans, we can use this flow diagram. We start off with cells making up tissues, and these tissues will make up organs. Organs will make up organ systems, which finally make up the organism. Now let's look at the structure of eukaryotic cells. All life on Earth can be divided into two very broad classes, eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms which lack a true nucleus. For example, they can be bacteria. Eukaryotes are single-celled and multicellular organisms which have a true, membrane-bound nucleus. Here's a table showing the classification of eukaryotic cells and their contents. We'll go through this information in the next few slides. Eukaryotic cells have a true membrane-bound nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Membrane-bound simply means that the nucleus and organelles are surrounded by a membrane in this case, a phospholipid bilayer. Animal, plant, algal and fungal cells are eukaryotic. There are four cell types of eukaryotes. Animal, plant, algal and fungal. The main distinction between animal cells and plant cells is that animals are heterotrophs, meaning that they cannot generate their own food via photosynthesis. Animals can be unicellular or multicellular. There are many different types of single-celled or unicellular animals. In fact, there are almost as many single-celled animals as there are multicellular animals. Animal cells only lack a cell wall vacuole and chloroplasts compared to plant cells. Plant cells are said to be autotrophic. Most plant cells are multicellular eukaryotes which carry out photosynthesis and make their own food. Plant cells have all the organelles. In addition to animal cell organelles, plant cells have a cellulose cell wall a vacuole and chloroplasts. Algal cells are very similar to plant cells. 
they contain all of the same organelles. However, unlike plants, they can be unicellular or multicellular. Some of them are capable of photosynthesis, while others are not. Fungal cells are also eukaryotic. Fungi are neither plants nor animals and are an entire class of organisms on their own, but they are eukaryotic organisms. Fungi, even though they may look like plants, do not carry out photosynthesis. Instead, they get their nutrition by breaking down dead or decaying matter. This is why they are called chemoautotrophs. They can be unicellular or multicellular. Fungi include organisms like mushrooms, which are multicellular, and yeast, which are unicellular. Their cell wall is made out of chitin, not cellulose, like in plants. Also, they do not have chloroplasts, because they do not photosynthesize. We've now covered both the learning objectives for this lesson, so feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you are unsure about. We've now completed Lesson 1. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe by clicking down below and leaving a comment of the topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch the rest of our videos in our A-Level Biology series, or visit our website studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.